Oh my God, those florists completely blew it. I mean, I swear I'm not going to use them again. I ordered 1,500 white gardenias for this goddamn wedding we're doing at the Bel Air tomorrow. What do you think they give me? Now, go ahead, guess. Off white gardenias. <laughs> off white! I'm like, I'm not taking your off white gardenias. I ordered white gardenias. Understand English? I'm like, I ordered $20,000 worth of flowers from you for three parties this week alone, and you think you're going to give me off white gardenias? Like, I don't think so. I mean, the bright skin tone, I told them, it's already like chalk on paste. <laughs> Believe me, she's going to look bad enough next to those white gardenias. <laughs> I put her next to those off-white flowers. She's going to look like, like Casper in Versace. I mean, the things I have to deal with. It's unbelievable. Well, well, of course I got what I wanted, but to get it, I mean, it's exhausting. Why are there so many incompetent people? I mean, <laughs> last, last week, you know, I had to do this, this, this fundraiser for these young Democrat losers, and Clinton was there. I mean, I actually had to go up to the goddamn president and say, excuse me, can you get your people to lighten up a little bit so I can get the band in? I'm like, these secret service idiots are standing me there telling me that the band's instruments are going to have to go through security? I'm like, you think you're going to ruin my moment that I've planned for the last three months? Like, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I'd never met him before. Actually, I wish Hillary had been there. I might have really gotten something done. <laughs> Well, what do you mean, why was I late in calling? I had that gardenia fiasco to deal with. <laughs> well, that is the same as saying I'm sorry, hon. <laughs> can, can we just talk about something a little more pleasant, please? I've had a hard week. <laughs> so, can you get away from that little bitch of a wife of yours for our weekend in Carmel or not? <laughs> okay, okay. I won't mention her again, but oh my god, first, speaking of wives, I just have to tell you this one story. My brother and his wife were in town last weekend from Santa Fe. And I mean, I never would have seen them, but it was my grandmother's 90th birthday, and there was like nothing I could do. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. What she did, his wife, she actually breastfed their baby at the dinner table where I was trying to eat. <gasps> oh my God, it was like so gross. <laughs> so disgusting, I thought I was gonna vomit. Oh, you know my cousin Julie, the one who does wardrobe for Chris Rock and got liposuction on her elbows? <laughs> Oh my God. She just leans across the table and she goes like, gee, like you're, you're, you're actually doing that? Well, you must be a really good person. <laughs> oh my God, though, let me tell you, we all lost our appetites after that. I mean, I knew she was a Gentile. I just didn't know she was like Amish or something. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, so are we or are we not going to be making love on our private terrace and soaking in our hot tub next weekend? Okay, well, what about the 15th? Let me check my book and see if I can make it work. <laughs> well, what about Labor Day then? I mean, they're going to get really booked up, but if I call this far in advance, what are you talking about? <laughs> What's over? What do you mean there's nothing to talk about? We've been going out for three and a half months. You better believe I have things to talk about. <laughs> you, you can't just do that, like, over the phone. I mean, you can't just, like, walk out. It's me, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> 
needed to talk for a minute. Well, could, could you call me back when you get off the other line, maybe? Oh, well, I could come to your office this afternoon, then, and... No. No, it's okay. I, I understand. I know you're really busy. I... Okay, but uh, lo love you. Dad? last week? Uh-huh. Well, I've been meaning to call you since the Ovid's party. You know those kiwi tarts I ordered? Well, when I got there, they had wild strawberries on them for garnish. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, the next time I want wild strawberries on my kiwi tarts for garnish, I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, I am being nice here. You pull a stunt like that again, you're gonna be hard-pressed to find a catering gig in Des Moines. You think that's funny. Well, I don't think you know who you're dealing with here. Not only is my father Jack Kramer of Disney, but I have connections in every catering town, and I don't like your attitude, bitch. Patterson, please. Uh, Stacy Kramer. Thanks. Hello, Ross. This is Stacy, the party planner. I ran into you with Dave Rosen last week. <laughs> you remember? Great. Well, I got your number from Dave, and the reason I'm calling is I'm wondering if you'd like to have cocktails with me some evening this week. <laughs> yeah, Dave mentioned you're married. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a drink, Ross. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be so old-fashioned. <laughs> just one drink. Uh-huh. 6.30? Tomorrow night? At the Beverly? Excellent. I'll see you there. Bye, Ross. 